Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jazz, and over here we talk all things cash. So if you are into sinky funds, savings challenge, debt, budgeting, anything to do with cash, then this is your channel. Go ahead, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and engage in the comments down below. Guys, I wanted to come and do a quick debt check-in. Um, I was reevaluating this loan that I have because this is my biggest debt. Um, I had to take out a personal loan for, you know, reasons a few months back and the interest on this loan is very, very high. I do not recommend <laughs> at all, but it was like this or nothing at the time. So, um, yeah, I've made like seven payments on this loan and I'm, I'm really not getting anywhere. So I had to reevaluate, um, what I, what I was doing and how I'm paying this loan. Um, I don't know if this video is going to make sense to you guys. Um, but this is the way I was, you know, putting it together in my head. So last time I checked in with you guys, this was my, um, this is the loan It's from one main do not recommend high interest, very high interest. Um, I didn't care at the time because I really needed the loan. Um, but I care now <laughs> when I'm on my journey to become a debt free. So it's from one main financial. Um, the goal, the loan was for $8,000 and my minimum payment is $290 a month. So I've made seven payments to this loan, which was, um, so this last time I updated, I had only made one, two, three, four, but I've actually made seven payments. So we can get rid of this because I'm not going to be tracking with this one anymore. So I've made the loan was $8,000. I've made seven payments of 290. So 290 times seven is $2,030. So Minus eight thousand, I would be looking at fifty nine seventy left for the loan, right? No. So the interest is so high on this loan that on out of the two hundred and ninety dollars, only seventy eight dollars. Hold on, two ninety only. $78 is being applied to principal. So that means I'm paying $212 in interest every month. And it's not getting me anywhere. I still have a balance on this loan after seven payments of $7,488.73. And it's like, it's, it's bugging me because this is something that I really want to, you know, pay off and get taken care of. So I have decided to make an extra principal payment of the $78 every month. So if I do $290 plus an additional $78, that will give me $368 um, to be paid toward this loan every month. So instead of paying 290, I'm going to now be paying the 368. That will knock out an additional um principal only payment and that would you know, help me to pay off this loan faster. So yeah, guys, I don't know, you know, it was rough times at the time. So now instead of this tracker and where I was paying 290 um every time I am going to now be paying 368 dollars a month um I actually just made a payment for the 290 um two days ago and had I done this math before I would have made the extra payment but I'm gonna you know budget it out and figure that out here soon so that I can start making the payment of the um, 368. So each icon is going to be now worth $368. Hope you guys can see that. And the goal 
is now we're gonna go 74 is seven thousand four hundred and eighty eight dollars and seventy three cents so we're gonna do seventy four eighty nine for the goal I think you guys can see that so I divided the um the amount of the payments that I've already made. So I've made $2,030 worth of payments and I'm dividing that by 368. So that means I have made five and a half payments. So I'm gonna go ahead, instead of the seven, I've technically made seven, but I'm gonna go ahead and just color in five to represent the new amount. So I can just keep track. So this, I found this on Etsy. It says a savings challenge, but I'm going to be using it as a tracker um, because, yeah, I want to get this loan paid off. And don't be like me, guys. Do not be like me. This is my biggest debt right now. Um, most of my other debts are just, you know, monthly debts because I did pay off my credit card. So I'm not carrying over any credit card debt anymore. Um, I do not own my home, so I do want to eventually purchase a home in the next probably two years or so, but I want to get all of this stuff taken care of first so that I am financially ready for a home. I also am thinking about getting a new car, um, toward the end of this year, but I don't know if that's like something I should do right now or if I should just wait until um until I have this loan paid off I'm gonna try to tackle this loan actually by the end of the year um if if I pay it this way I would have 20 payments um I believe it said let me see when I did the math let me see 74 89 divided by 368 well, yeah will give me 20 payments to finish off this loan so um if i double up or triple up sometimes get extra whenever i get my extra money um i can make an extra loan payment so right now i'm just gonna color in five of these little um loan icons and yeah, guys, I will be keeping you guys updated on my status of this loan. Pray for me. Pray for my finances that I am able to complete this loan by the end of the year. Because that would just, you know, help my goals as far as the major purchases that I want to make in the future. Um highly do not recommend going this route if there's any other route that you guys can take i do recommend going that way so i did get this one also but this one is going to be more so for self um i got this one off of etsy too and i'm just going to be using this to track my progress um myself i do like it but it doesn't fit in my envelopes so i'm gonna just use this off to the side off camera but this is the one i will be updating you guys with i don't know if you saw in my last um and eh, maybe two videos ago i was talking about what i should do with my debt envelope and if i wanted to um you know continue making payments toward debt at the end of the month or just stacking it up and then making a lump sum payment i'm going to continue making payments at the end of the month so i'm going to take the money that i stuff into my debt envelope um and every month i'm going to take that money out and i'm going to apply it to this loan as well so while i'm on track to have to make 20 more payments for this loan to be finished off um I am going to, if my math is correct, y'all, if my math is not correct, help me out. But this is the way I worked it out in my mind. I don't know. It, it may be off, but um, this is what I worked out in my mind. So if I um take that extra, whatever I save during the month or stuff during the month for my extra debt payment, I'm going to apply that to this loan as well. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to come through with a quick debt video. And right now, I only have $10 in this envelope, so I do need to make sure that I stuff this more. Um, 
when I do my next cash stuffing. But right now, I just wanted to come to you guys with a quick video and, you know, um, update you on my debt progress because it's been it's been a little while. So hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram at Cash with Jazz, and um, you can keep up with my progress there as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.